how to create a concrete v-shaped column in revit let's go here we are in revit 23 just go to models open up a new project using a structural template and then go to level one and then go to files new and then under new go to family and then scroll down until you go to until you meet a metric structural column open and then change the width to a thousand enter and then go to the front elevation and then you can extend these reference lines and then go to create extrusion and then draw a straight line 1000 millimeter and then draw a diagonal line at 60 degrees and then go to pick lines and then offset it by 500 millimeters like so and then go to the top and then draw a straight line and then go to trim and extend and then trim this line and then select these three lines go to mirror pick axis pick this mirror reference line and then it's copied to the other side and then go to trim and extend and then join these two lines and then to, in order for us to make this family intelligent we're going to add parameters to this go to the dimension uh, annotation line dimension option and then select these two lines and then apply your dimensions and then you're going to go to angular and then uh, apply it between these two diagonal lines like this now you're going to select this uh, annotation and then go to create parameter and then you're going to name this thickness okay and then you're gonna lock it and then select this line again under label go to drop down and then assign it to thickness and then it's gonna automatically lock itself and now you're gonna select this also and then create parameter and then you got you can name this arc and then okay and then you're gonna lock it perfect now you're gonna say finish edit mode and then you're going to press align or al for short and then you're going to select this reference line and then select the top of this uh, section of the column and then lock it and then select this line again and then select the top of this uh, shape and then lock it you do the same at the bottom you're going to select this reference line select the bottom of the column and then lock it and there are actually two reference lines at the bottom so you're going to hover over here and then select your tab and until you see this small reference plane and then select it and then select the bottom of your column and then lock it and then escape and then you're gonna um, select your column and then under material you're gonna assign it uh, a material you can just type in concrete and then you're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna say concrete custom place load it in apply okay and then under properties go to family types and then under materials and finishes the structural material you're going to change it to concrete custom place okay apply and then okay and then go to the lower reference level and then you're going to drag your extrusion until it meets these reference lines according to the depth you have so you're going to say align again and then select this uh, section of your column and then select your reference line lock it and then select your column this side and then reference line and then lock it now go to the 3d view this is what you have now you can go to load family into project i'm not gonna save this and then it's loaded into your family i'm gonna place it at, le at level one and then go to the south elevation and as you can see this is what you have if i change this level to five me five millimeters or five meters the height of the column is going to change and when i select this column and then go to edit type if i drag this this side and then i change the angle of the arc to maybe 75 degrees it's and then apply it's going to change it's um 
It's going to change the angle of the arc. It's going to change its geometry in the middle. And if I change it to 30 degrees and then apply, this is what it does. And then if I change, if I change it back to 60 degrees, apply, this is what it does. And then if I change the thickness to maybe 800 millimeters, and then apply, it's going to do this. And if I change it to 500 millimeters, apply, it's going to do this. And if I change it to 250 millimeters, apply, okay, it's going to it's gonna be constrained. So I'm going to change it maybe to 400, apply, or take it back to 500, apply, because that was its original thickness. And if I change it to 600, apply, okay, and it's going to do this. And when I go to the 3D view and then change this to fine and then this to shaded, uh, this is what you have. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next tutorial. Peace.